take two, cheap camera challenge with Jay. Yo, uh, tell us what happened before when we were trying to do our original plan. Okay, so everything was going really, really well. But then as soon as I finished changing my settings on that camera, um, all of a sudden the battery. Oh, uh, big problem died. So we don't know what caused that. Um, but so we had to find a plan B and this is plan B. We're going film. We're going old, older old school. Yeah, we're going film. Um, not as cheap as the other one. <laughs> it's still cheap. It's still relatively cheap. Um, I haven't shot film in a while. And so, you know, this is a challenge in itself, but I'm happy to take on the challenge and see how we go with the film. Yeah, well, you've been a good sport about it. Thank you so much. Um, what film are we shooting on today? Okay, so I've been given the, uh, the Ilford XP2 400. Yep. Um, so black and white. Uh, yeah, we're just going to be shooting with this and doing my thing. All right, cool. And um, yeah, today's going to be a bit of a challenge because we did have good light initially, <laughs> but it's obviously no yeah. longer as good. It might change. It's overcast today, so you know, the clouds move and the light comes in and out. So we'll, we'll, we'll see how we go. All right, sweet. Yeah. Let's get into it. All right, let's get going. I'm going to watch you load it now, though. Okay, okay, okay. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's move over here. I might need support for loading this, but we'll see. <laughs> it's on my neck, so... I think you'll be fine. Okay. Step one, open up camera. Step two, drag film spool. <laughs> I'm guessing it's this way. Ah, uh, wrong way. Oh, damn, this way. <laughs> <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> There it goes. Make sure it's locked in properly. And then we should be good. So what, how many times do we... I think you gotta do it to one. On the, the, oh, oh, it's yeah, on the yeah, thing. Oh yeah, yeah, I yeah. forgot there's a... I think okay. that's it. Are we okay, good? That's it, that's it, that's it. We're good All to right, go. We're sweet. Good to go. <laughs> oh wow, okay. This is, a, this is gonna be a challenge. This is because the light meter internally doesn't work, so I've had to put on the external light meter. Yeah, right. You've got the 35 f 3.5, I, I got think the that's- the 35 f 3.5. Uh, and the lens actually has a bit of marking on, on the front. That's oh, not gonna it? be perfect, uh, but it's film anyway, so who gives? Well, I'll, I'll figure things out as we go, yeah. um, but let me just take a test shot. It's hard to focus. Did you check your exposure? No. This might take some time. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, know. first time shooting film. I don't know what I'm doing. Aperture's at the right. <laughs> <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> How's the, this, the mechanical feel of the camera? The mechanical feels good. I, I love the slaps. Um, I don't know, it's, it's, it's nice going back to a more analog experience shooting digital all the time you can become jaded and you can become really comfortable with you know how easy it is to fire off shots but with this you know i'm in the intentional mode now so <laughs> because i only have what like 36 exposures or 25 25? now 35 yeah it, it's going to be a little bit more intentional but uh it should be good sweet and you said you shot film about a year ago now do you remember what you shot on? Uh, I was shooting on a... What was the last film camera I shot on? It was either the Mamiya, Mamiya RB67. Wow, okay, flex. Or the... Uh, or the Yashica TLR, the Yashica ah, 2, uh, 240. So medium format. Yeah, yeah, the me I'm a medium format guy. Oh, okay, sorry yeah. for being giving you the peasant specs so shooting film S camera. So shooting 35mm <laughs> SLR is like... You know, well, it's you'd a change. be used to that'd be harder to shoot. So, so well, no, they're essentially the same thing, right? Like, true, they all work the same. You got aperture, ISO, and shutter speed. Yeah, yeah. And you, you take ISO out of the equation because I'm shooting, um, you know, just the the standard stock ISO 400 box speed. Um, so you don't have to worry too much about that. You just need to worry about your aperture and shutter speed. Yeah. And because I want to make sure things are not motion blurred, I'm going to shoot at you know, a fixed 250. Um, so all I have to do is make sure that my aperture can balance that out and right. properly expose. Nice, and I think um, 
Black and white obviously has a little bit more, it's a little bit more of a forgiving film to shoot on. It is, yeah. Uh, I haven't shot XP2, much. I did the one roll, but it hasn't been developed. So, no idea how it's gonna look, if it's contrasty or flat. Yeah. Honestly, it's film, so you know anything, anything goes. Yeah, true. And uh, the excitement is seeing your crappy results after. <laughs> Everything you out of focus. You might get one out of the 36 that you're happy with. That's a win for me. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, let's let's see let's see what what we get. sense film photography is a little bit easier than shooting uh, than shooting digital oh, you know, especially some people especially in the sense that you, you only need to worry about exposing for the shadows and not the highlights because film has such a huge like most film has such a large dynamic range um, as long as you make sure your shadows are exposed you know everything should be fine whereas in digital you really need to make sure your highlights aren't mm. clipped if you're one of those people, right? And sometimes that's nigh impossible, um, especially with a digital sensor. <laughs> it, you, you have to compromise with digital, but with film, there's a little bit less compromise when it comes to, the, you know, kind of exposure. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. So I'm not too fast. I gotta mentally um, remind myself this is a film camera, and whatever's loaded in there is whatever I'm shooting. You're sometimes, stuck. sometimes when I shoot digital, I shoot in black and white all the time. But when I see like scenes like this with color around, I'm like, oh, maybe this will look good in color later on. And I just get the tones right. Yeah. And then I'll change it back to color, and it's all good. But like if you look here, it, it, it's a nice scene. Like you can get a lot of nice compositions with the red, the blue, the green, um, and the yellow. But because I'm shooting XP2, I just gotta walk straight past <laughs> and just be like, nope, not doing it today. Kind of do hurts, but do you think that's a blessing or a curse? Uh, it's both. It's Double-edged sword. Yeah, blessing because what is the blessing? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it keeps really you focused on a certain style. It is, yeah. But that may not be a good thing at the same time, right? No. Um, but no, this is a challenge. Remember, so I'm challenging myself. Do you think this is more challenging than the original camera that we we're planning for? I mean, that would have had its own challenges. Well. Now that I think about it, I reckon the would have been a lot easier. Oh. Yeah. Because I can see the result in the back of the screen. It's got an LCD oh, I mean, and it's got a viewfinder. <laughs> barely on. have one. That's like half cheating already. So yeah, this, this is definitely more of a challenge. Film photography is always more challenging than, uh, than digital. And how about adding a layer to that film photography on the street? Film photography on the street is infinitely more difficult, especially if you're the kind of person who tends to shoot fast um, and, and, you know, split second style interactions with the subjects that you take. And for landscape and stuff, it's fine because you can take your time, properly expose and stuff. But when you're dealing with, you know, moving subjects and, you know, split second decisions, shooting film, that, that's where, like, you get impressed by people who shoot film especially the ones back in the days who were doing street photography with film cameras. You're like, oh wow, he must have really have known his camera back to front to be able to get shots like this. Because, you know, in the heat of the moment, you don't have time to think. And when they say you can focus faster with the, with the analog camera, sometimes you can. Do you find 
that when you shoot film, strangers are more receptive to you? Like they, they don't really mind as much? Yeah, I do actually. It's yeah. a good point. I haven't really thought about it, but. Yeah. It's I like when they hear the shutter sound go off, they're like, is that film? <laughs> more like, more than, did you take a photo of me? <laughs> or more, it's, sometimes it's like, did you take a photo of me? Yes. Is that a film camera? Yes. <laughs> The quirkier your film camera looks, the, the more likely um, strangers are going to react in a nicer way. Like say, if I'm shooting with my um, Yashica TLR, you don't see a lot of those on the street these days, especially like street photography. Like people don't shoot with that a lot. So when a stranger sees that camera and they see it's not really the same shape as your usual like SLR style, they get curious and they're like, oh, what is that? Or, oh, is that an old film camera? That's really cool. Yeah. And so you can kind of break the ice and still take photos of them and yeah. have a be okay. Nice pirate outfit. Can I take a photo? Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, I saw the arrow pointing down and the man sitting there. So you can probably guess where this is going. <laughs> I want the arrow to point down directly onto his head. I was just getting the right composition. And what's the message behind that picture? There is no message. <laughs> the message is Con Museum of Contemporary Art, Australia. It just looks cool. I was making contemporary art. Ah, oh, there you I don't go. Know. Not all photos need to have a meaning. Some photos just need to look good. I say that, but in humans video, I was like, you know, I, I, I take photos, I take photos uh, on instinct and, uh, you know, it has to make me feel a certain way. Can we Which trust anything you say? Yeah, we can. Honestly. A hundred percent. This guy's con conflicting his own statements. You can definitely trust me. I'm a hundred percent genuine. Genuine. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, come on. This is color. <laughs> What's going on today? This is color. This is not fair. See, this is what the world does to me. I'm shooting black and white, and this is what the world does to me. I don't have another camera on me either, so... What, the people will watch the video, they'll see it in colour, and then they'll see the photo that I get, and they'll be like, oh, okay, that was the colour of the hat. <laughs> so it's safe to take the shot you, you on can this occasion. Own, yeah, that's right. But in this kind of photo, I just gotta make sure that everything's sharp, otherwise people are gonna critique me and say... They're gonna roast you. Yeah, you, know, you got so much time to focus, why didn't you just focus properly? That would be embarrassing. <laughs> Ooh. Should be all right. the way you think changes the way you see things because with a digital shooting black and white I can see sort of how my final image is gonna look but with film I need to actually see with my eyes in black and white which can be a little bit challenging because let's be real like when you take a photo with a digital camera there's always going to be some sort of post-processing involved either dragging in the uh, dragging in more contrast um, dragging, putting in more shadows or like bringing up the highlights to give that more stylistic effect. Yeah. And I, I, I'm guilty of doing that too. But with film, you can't really, like unless you know film really well and you develop your own film in a dark room and you can push and pull and do all that developing you know, magic that you can do with film, it's really hard to just get it like looking the way you want. Yeah. And when I visualize a scene, maybe I see it one certain way, but when I shoot the film, maybe it ends up looking a different way, I, I don't know. Set it to three meters, and I'll take a photo of a topless guy. And let's see how it goes. All right, dude. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you're into. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I much prefer 
prefer shooting with the film camera as opposed to shooting with the uh, mobile phone that you saw me shoot with just then. But that being said, kind of controversial, but I don't mind shooting with the mobile phone. Really? Yeah. Why is that? Because it's a digital camera. Uh -huh. <laughs> and if I'm going to be shooting with a digital camera, any digital camera will do, right? Uh, I'm going to have to disagree with you. Yeah. I have to disagree. I, I'll, I'll cop a lot of flack for that, but my views on photography has changed. Really? I, I feel like you know, it doesn't matter what you use to take the photo, um, as long as the photo is good. No. Everything. You know, some of my favorite photos have been taken with a mobile phone. I just haven't shown anyone. You should stand by what you say. I will. I might Post even it. make a YouTube video about it. Ooh. What I'll do is I'll post up a bunch of photos on my Instagram. I won't say what camera it is, and I'll see how many likes it gets. Ooh. And then um, I'll be like, psych guys, <laughs> all of these were taken on a mobile phone. So stop judging mobile phone photography. I feel like today went okay. Um, being a while since I shot film, shoot, like just putting me on the spot and you know, just going nose first into shooting film was a little bit of a challenge, I'd say. Uh, but once I was like 12 shots deep, I got a little bit half more- the roll. <laughs> Half the roll. Almost one third of the roll in. I got a bit more accustomed and things started coming back to me. And uh, just as I finish the roll, I think I just want to shoot more film now. Okay, you yeah. can buy that camera off me. Two, <laughs> two grand. Oh, <laughs> cheap camera challenge, eh? <laughs> cheap camera challenge. Disclaimer, I did not pay two grand. But yeah, overall, this camera, fantastic to uh, use. Um, everything went pretty smoothly. Hopefully the, the photos come out looking good. No issues with the, the lights, uh, but yeah. All right, awesome. All right, well, thank you so much. And uh, we'll catch you guys in the next video. See you all. Peace. Sweet, woo. You need to take the heat to create the heat. J regular. J regular. Just put that on one of those uh, inspirational. I need that on a t-shirt stat. <laughs> <laughs>